happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today I want to show you guys my 3D printed Ben Affleck Batman cow. Now originally I bought this as a 3D file from my friend Chris who is based in the UK who runs a company called Applied Sciences Division and likes to be known as Mr. Fox. Which is pretty damn cool. Now Chris has his own Etsy shop, I will provide the links below. He sells 3D files, 3D prints, all things bat suit related, bat gadgets, the guy does incredible work. So I think I purchased this file for about $60, I then uploaded the file to my Shapeways account. Now for those who don't know what Shapeways is, it's essentially a 3D printing company where you can buy 3D prints, 3D files, you can upload your own files, in this case it was the cow. Now when you upload your file, it then goes through, processes it, makes sure that it can 3D print this object and then goes through the materials that is able to 3D print in. Now I think all up, this took about a week to print. It arrived a couple of weeks ago, and I kid you not, the box was huge. It was just padding and padding, and then in the middle, this cow. Now the reason why I'm showing you guys this is essentially I wanna make a mold of this and make wearable copies to sell. Now I also wanna make display copies cast in resin, because I think it just looks beautiful, even as a solid piece. Now with the display copies, I was thinking of having a little mock-up of the cape hanging back over the sides with a nice stand with the bat logo in Perspex. Now that is the original color on the inside. It is a white plastic. I did go over the entire piece with a clear resin called Bee Queen. You guys have seen me use Bee Queen before. And the reason why I use Bee Queen is to get rid of those print lines. As you can see some areas there, there are drip marks from the Bee Queen. They have to be sanded off and I also have to add the texture to this. Now that may involve trying to artificially put the texture on the surface of this. Worst case scenario, take a quick mold of this guy and then I will do a clay pour then that's gonna be a lot easier in terms of getting the detail and surface texture on him. This thing is solid too like it's strong flexible plastic but if you dropped it I don't think it would shatter. So Chris has done an amazing job with this file it just matches the screen used cow perfectly there are some little details a lot of people tend to leave out even when it comes to hand sculpting these cows. It's a big cow, so for the wearable copies, it's either gonna be urethane or latex. If it's latex, it'll be a bit smaller, but I think this will fit up to a 24 and a half inch head. In terms of pricing availability, it's all up in the air for now, but like I said, I will be making wearable copies and display copies of these. I am gonna start up another run for my utility belts now. I am gonna open up a shop on my website that is currently under construction, which is a long time coming. So I'll, hopefully I'll have the belts for sale in a couple of weeks. I just need to get everything ready in terms of supplies and just my methods and the way I make the belts. It's a lot more efficient now. I've got a method down pat that works really well. So there you have it guys. This this is part one in a series of, you know, start to finish with making wearable copies and display copies of this guy, but I just want to show him off because it's just a beautiful work of art. 3D printing scares me, like it's ridiculous the stuff you can print with such high detail too. I mean, all these subtle little creases in the brow just been picked up perfectly by the printer. All right, I'm gonna pop him back on there. Just to give you an idea, put the goggles on him. If you did have some goggles or a spare scarf and you did want a display copy, it'd be perfect for a nightmare mock-up. You're gonna stay on there. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching guys. After this, I'm about to film the intro to my latest custom collectible. That is the Jack Specific Master Chief from Halo. This one has been a long time coming and I am very excited to get started. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are happy. Be merry, be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best. Oh.